is the KUSI News at 10. When voters in the city of San Diego made the strong mayor form of government permanent two months ago, they also mandated a ninth city council district. Now the question is, where will that district be and who will fill the seat? KUSI's Steve Bosch went looking for answers. Since the last redistricting 10 years ago, the city's population has increased by 130,000. Asian and Pacific Islanders represent 34% of that growth. We now have large concentrations of Asian communities in Mira Mesa, Rancho Penasquitas, and Carmel Valley. This would be an opportunity to provide uh, a political empowerment for the Asian community. Vince Vasquez, a policy analyst for National University, is working with the Asian communities to have Asian representation in that ninth council district. The most important qualification under redistricting rules is communities of interest. Any group that considers himself a community of interest can actually put forth a proposal to have uh, redistricting rules rep uh, representative of their needs. That votes is a community that cares and Asian Pacific American cares. Culture could play a big role in why the number of voters has been so low in the past. Many Asians come to the states from oppressive governments without the right to vote and with language barriers. And they did not have that freedom, the opportunity to choose their own destiny, to choose their own future by voting. But the coalition says that this year will be different. This year, a Chinese ballot will now be available, joining the Filipino and Vietnamese ballots. The group is also holding registration events throughout the weekend to encourage more to register to vote. Okay, you cannot be a true American if you don't vote. Well, you have the opportunity, you have the right to vote. It is our responsibility that we have to sustain and we have to preserve and choose the people who are representing you to preserve that for, for today. For 300,000 Asian Americans um, in the metro area of San Diego. And you're right, they're very diverse. Mm -hmm. And this is because their journeys to America are different. They came here at different times and they have different um, language barriers. However, you see, um, starting to see changes. Um, and especially in the second generation, you see more collaboration. And the reason for that is because of the um, English language. Um, there's also the um, cultural bonds as well as the um, American values. And they're more acclimated to the American way of life, the generations that are second and third, right? Absolutely. So it's easier to be able to communicate with them? Yes, definitely. And in my work with the Asian community, um, you, I'm starting to see three common themes. Um, that's um, facilitating this collaboration. It's civic representation, education and economics. In okay. area, you have hundreds of businesses that in the past two decades start to cluster around this area along Convoy. And our goal is to create um, a district that's similar to Little Italy. Um, this is an area, a neighborhood in San Diego on the outskirts of downtown that has transformed into an economic um, powerhouse, you say, in terms of neighborhoods. Um, and they use that to attract residents and tourists alike um, by leveraging their cultural identity and promoting that.